A triangular plane figure of sides 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners such that the surface of the lamina makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. If the side opposite the corner on which the lamina rests makes an angle of 30 degree with VP, draw the top and front views in this position. So first we have to look for the surface inclination as the surface inclination is respect to HP. So obviously we have to start from the horizontal plane. That means we have to start the problem from the top view. Then he says it is resting on HP with one of its corners. Since it is an odd number side, whether it is resting on corner or whether it is resting on side, obviously one of the sides should be perpendicular to VP always, whether it is a pentagon or a triangle. This is the odd number size. That means triangle has got three sides and whereas pentagon has got five sides. So the odd number side will always have side opposite will going to be a corner or corner opposite will be a side. So it is resting on one of its corners on HP. So we have taken the initial position such that one of the edges perpendicular to VP. So obviously opposite to that is a corner which is also resting on HP. So in the initial position what we are doing is all the sides are resting on HP because to get the true shape first it should be all the sides should be parallel to HP. So then only we are going to get the true shape in the horizontal plane. So here as we look from the front view A, B and C. A and B is near to the observer so A dash B dash is visible and C is away from the observer so C dash becomes invisible as A dash B dash C dash all are parallel to HP. So A, B, B, C and C, A are in true length. So that means the entire shape will go to become the true shape. The shaded portion is shown that it is a surface. So that is what we have shown in the orthographic view also such so that we have taken one of the edges should be perpendicular to VP or one of the side is perpendicular to VP and then constructed the triangle and then from here when it is projected to the front view you can see both AB is near to the observer so A dash B dash is visible and C is away from the observer so C dash becomes invisible. So this side this port, this end is a corner whereas this end is a side since it is resting on one of its corners so obviously this should rest on one of its corners here. So in the second position, as we see resting on HP one of its corners, we can see resting on one of its HP, one of its corners on HP, such that the surface makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. So then we have rotated the initial position front view by rotating at an angle of 60 degrees with respect to HP, but still when the surface becomes inclined to HP, but still the lamina is perpendicular to VP. So that is the reason why you are getting a line in the front view. So here BC is parallel to VP, uh, sorry, parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So that is the reason why you are getting a point and this is parallel to HP. So you are getting the true length BC here. So this is also in true length. So when it is projected, this BC will going to become the true length. So AB, A dash, B dash is inclined and A dash, C dash is also inclined. Therefore, AB and AC will going to be in apparent length. So that image is projected AB and AC which is going to be a apparent length. So obviously the second position top view will not be in true shape. So in the orthographic view also we can see the corner is resting on HP such so that the surface is inclined to HP. So this is what I was talking about that is B dash C dash is parallel to HP. So that is the reason why BC is getting the true length as BC is perpendicular to VP. So you are getting a point here. A dash B dash is inclined to HP. So here it will be in the apparent length. A dash C dash is also in inclined to HP. So you will going to get AC is also in apparent length. But B dash C dash is parallel to HP. So you are getting the true length here. So this is how we can be able to analyze in the second position uh, uh, orthographic and as well as in 3D. And if the side opposite to the corner on which the lamina rests uh, is an angle of 30 degree with VP. So which is the side opposite to the corner? The side opposite to the corner is BC which is again inclined at 30 degrees to VP as BC is parallel to HP so you are getting the true length here since this line is in true length and the inclination given is also true inclination therefore you rewrite the second position top view by rotating at an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP and then construct the third position front view 
so this is how we will be able to analyze this in 2d and as well as in 3d so this sketch what we have in the third position front view and this sketch what you have in this is both are same and also when we see how the problem is whether our problem is right or wrong we can see that in the final position front view still a uh, triangle is resting on one of its corners then the side opposite to the corner which is the side opposite to the corner is bc which is inclined to vp at 30 degrees and it is resting on corners on hp and the surface is inclined to hp at 60 degrees and it is an equilateral triangle of 25 mm so this is how we can do the 3d and as well as 2d analysis now we will going to try to solve the problem in the sketchbook so first we are going to draw the xy line and mark vp and hp and uh, you draw an xy line with a thin line so now as we say it is when the triangular lamina is resting on hp on one of its corners since it is a uh, odd number size corner opposite to that is always a side so you have to have the side should be perpendicular to vp so first we are going to consider bc for draw a vertical line and you by using the compass you measure the distance you may take the radius of 25 mm consider any point on that perpendicular line which is drawn to the xy and then cut an arc and you mark this point as b and c with the same radius with b as center draw an arc and also for with c as center cut on the previously drawn arc so that you are going to get this point small a then join a to b b to c and c to a with a dark line then from a draw a vertical projector to the xy line with a thin line and draw a vertical projector from b and c to the xy line and as you see from the front view a dash is near to the observer and b dash is also near to the observer whereas in c dash it is away from the observer therefore c dash in bracket then join a dash is a visible point to b dash is a visible point so visible to visible is visible so you draw a dark line then as we see it is resting on one of its corners so a dash should be on xy line consider any convenient distance from the first position top front view and you mark this point by using the protractor with respect to the xy line you measure an angle of 60 degrees and then draw an inclined line then again with a dash as center from the first position front view measure the distance of a dash b dash with a dash as center cut an arc on this so that you will going to get the 60 degree line so then join a dash to b dash with a dark line so which is going to be the second position front view then draw a vertical projector from a dash and draw a horizontal projector from a both will going to intersect at this point and you mark this point as small a similarly draw a vertical projector from b dash and c dash and draw a horizontal projector from b and c both will going to intersect at the respective points of b and c in the second position top view and then join mark them as b and c and join a to b b to c and c to a with a dark line as we see here b dash c dash is uh, parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp since it is parallel to hp so you are getting the true length here the side opposite the corner is inclined at 30 degrees to vp so which is the side opposite the corner a because the corner is the one which is resting on hp the side opposite to this will going to be b dash c dash so that inclination given is the true inclination and the length what you are getting in the second position top view is also true length so on true length we are going to have the true inclination so we are going to rewrite the second position top view by rotating at an angle of 30 degrees so you measure any distance from consider any point and draw a horizontal line in the third position and you using the compass you measure the distance from c to b with the same point c cut an arc on uh, 30 degree line you will going to get this point b and mark the point as b then again take the distance from c to this uh, perpendicular line which is drawn in the from a and with c as center cut an arc on that 30 degree line so that you will going to get this middle point so from this middle point with respect to the bc you measure an angle of 90 degrees and draw a perpendicular line and then again with the second position top view you measure the distance from this point to a with from this point you cut an arc on that perpendicular line you are going to get this point as a you mark the point as a then join a to b b to c and c to a with the dark line now we will going to draw the second uh, final uh, third position front view draw a vertical projector from a and draw a horizontal projector from a dash both will going to intersect at this point 
you mark this point as A dash and then draw a horizontal projector from B dash and C dash and draw a vertical projector from B and also from C both will go to intersect at these two points and you mark this point as B dash and C dash then join A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash and C dash to A dash with a dark line so this is how you will be able to solve the problem in the sketchbook but we will try to analyze now so a triangle lamina of uh, 25 mm side is resting on one of its corners on HP such that the surface makes an angle of 60 degree with HP and the side opposite the corner which is resting on HP is also inclined to VP at 30 degrees so which is the side opposite the corner which is B dash C dash so that B dash C dash is parallel to HP so we are getting the true length here and the inclination is also true inclination therefore we are able to rewrite the sketch here so this is how you will be able to analyze this and uh, this is the uh, uh, still in the final position you can see that the corner is resting on HP so this is how you will be able to analyze this problem and also the final solution which we already written and we have satisfied all the given conditions given in the problem and hence the problem